Thanksgiving during a pandemic begs the question, can the holiday gathering be done safely? Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers shows us how some local people plan to celebrate. Mark, COVID-19 has impacted a lot of things this year, and from the looks of it, Thanksgiving isn't going to be any different. Stephen Carestis was on a weekend grocery run at Shields Family Market in Wilkesbury. He found out his original Thanksgiving dinner plans are canceled. It bothers me, but safe, better safe than sorry. Families have a lot to consider when deciding whether to hold a traditional family get together. A new survey shows two in five Americans plan to attend a Thanksgiving gathering with more than 10 people. The CDC says the number of guests, location, travel exposure and more come into play. With my grand being elder and everything else and uh, my aunt who actually holds Thanksgiving, uh, she works at the hospital so with the COVID going around, um, she's being cautious for my grand. He says instead he and his wife will head to his mother-in-law's this year so he can still see family, unlike others who choose to stay home. I would love to say that we're getting together with all the members of the family, but with COVID, that's just not going to happen. But she won't be totally alone. I live by myself. I will enjoy Thanksgiving with my dog Joey and my kitty cats and me. For those spending Thanksgiving alone, there are options. So we'll have a few single meals to offer at the, in the Hot Island here as well. Uh, they asked, you know, if you want to call ahead and just to put some aside, we'll do that as well. Even though Carestis is spending Thanksgiving at his in-laws, he doesn't think his day will be too different. Lots and lots of turkey, and after that, I relax, take a nap, watch football. We want to know what your Thanksgiving plans are this year. Let us know on Facebook and Twitter at WBREWYOU. In Wilkes-Barre, Nicole Rogers, Eyewitness News.